hello welcome back so in this video we will look only at the gist of some of the important articles this one article the illogical rejection of idea of south asia written by suhasini haider i have explained in detail in another video you can check the link in this uh, list and uh, in this video i'll explain the two above mentioned article in a very small format okay so the first is a case for reassigning gst to states now this article is talking about the fiscal issues with the fiscal federalism okay the amount of money that has been distributed between the center and the states and the issues because every time state raises the concern that we have lack of finances and we have we need more finances to carry on our duties to carry out the expenditure in the states okay so this article is talking about how we need to ensure more fiscal freedom to the state so that they can perform their duties okay now this uh, article is talking about one concept that is vertical fiscal imbalance so the author is telling that uh, the uh, the amount of money which is distributed between center and state state has lot of revenue but state well, nee, the center has lot of revenue but the state have lot of expenditure so states need more revenue that is why there is a for, for vertical fiscal imbalance okay there is fiscal imbalance vertically top down approach is difficult okay and the uh, author is suggesting one formula that is how do we measure imbalance the formula is 1 minus states revenue upon states expenditure okay and if the the number comes zero that means that state have enough resources enough revenue to take care of its expenditure but if the ratio is more than zero then it means state needs more assistance more finance from the center now it is the work of finance commission to distribute the taxes between the center and the state okay and it has been you know giving more allocating more finances to the state but at the same time that finances is not enough so author now suggests that earlier it was the uh, the percentage the this ratio came around 0.58 which means that state needs more finance and certain measures were taken in uh, you know past like uh, all the taxes the union government was getting earlier it was different like uh, union government used to share the revenue of the taxes only two taxes major taxes with the states but with the finance commission recommendation more taxes got included and now almost all the products which are being taxed the tax is being distributed with the states okay also the introduction of gst there was a cap on the borrowing limit of states how it can you know borrow from the market so it will it will bring more financial prudence okay less fiscal deficit of the state finances but these measures that has been taken has somewhat uh, been detrimental against the state finances okay so now the authors are suggesting what they are proposing they are proposing two things first jo cgst the central gst on petroleum now it is exclusively with the center and uh, the state gst on liquor is exclusively with the state so the author is now proposing that the center tax on the petroleum products should be distributed with the states okay that is one and the second is that veto power of the center actually just center in the gst council the center share in the voting is 3/4 okay which is more than the state's ability to vote so even if you know in any resolution state want to go against the center the center will have the say so the author is suggesting that this veto this exclusive veto of the center in gst council must be removed and equal equal share and equal status should be given to states because it is the states which has exclusive responsibility towards the people and it is the state which is more accountable for the expenditure for the services to the people because it is more closer to the people okay so this 
whole article registers this much only that vertical fiscal imbalance must be reduced and the two elements is that by giving CGST on petroleum product and veto power should be removed of the center. Okay. So next one we will see new food green scheme as an illusion and double, double speak. So uh, presently what happened that the government has announced that uh, Pradhan Mantri Galib Kalyan Yojana which was introduced during the COVID uh, to give free fruit grain to the migrants and the poor people. Now it has been discontinued. It was being continued on the account of you know uh, various elections because it acts like a dole like a incentive to the people to vote for the party so it was extended for two years and now it has been removed so the author is speaking that uh, uh, mostly um, the ones who got the you know uh, pm garib kalyan anyojana and they were beneficiary already of nfsa national food security act in the uh, amount of ration we get from pds okay at a very nominal cost now what the center has done is the center has changed it the center has said okay we are not giving you the uh, free ration 5 kg now we will do uh, uh, we will reduce it by 50 kg of the rice okay the only difference in January 2023 is a family of five who can collect 25 kg of free but as a compensation the center has given 25 kg free ration composition of foregoing the PM Garib Kalyan Yojana. Okay. So the author is saying that it is of no logical sense. Already uh, there is a lot of discrepancy when it comes to record. So many uh, in the, the there are many flaws in this and 40% of Indian population is already excluded from the NFSA and PM Garib Kalyan Yojana and the census due to census uh, you know delay uh, only 2011 registered people are getting the provisions and rest of it is not you know getting around 100 million of the population and which includes newborn babies etc are not getting included in NFSA okay and uh, there are other certain challenges also the political challenges and uh, the demographic dividend is becoming demographic disaster okay so uh, in the last the author is suggesting that uh, the mg narega scheme has also been curtailed their funding has been curtailed less and less number of people are given employment under that so a more systematic reading has to be ensured and these duplicity of schemes will not you know lead to a conclusive or better end but a more holistic approach is needed and uh, uh, they should not scam people or they should not give doles to the people for their political or electoral ends okay Thank you so much and this article uh, about South Asia, it's a very important article regarding international relation. You can see in the following video in which I have explained it in details. Thank you so much. Have a good day.